Hi, it's Jamie here from Lucido Group. We're here on location in Bedfordshire with Ricky from Burn Electrical. We'll be installing the new BG Synth car charger. Let's go meet Ricky. Morning, mate. Hi, Ricky. How's it going? You all right? Yeah, I'm good. How's things? Yeah, not too bad, buddy. Good, good. So, uh, what are we doing today? Right, we've got the uh, BG Sync EV charger to install on this property. We've been here for a few months now. Um, we've done number of jobs uh, and this is the last of them uh, so yeah looking forward to installing this today okay great so nice easy installation today hopefully okay well we'll see how it goes let's get to it right then ricky let's get it out of the box So first thoughts then, what are you are getting out of the box at the moment? What do we have? Well, you see we've got a, a detachable cover. This takes me back to my uh, teenage years, the old Nokias. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do this in a multitude of colours as well. So we've got a few samples here today, so we can uh, have a look really on what they all look like. Seems a lot more uh, compact compared to the older one. Yeah. Um, I mean, Looks very similar, apart from the cover. But yeah, it's a lot more compact. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller than the uh, than the generation one charger we have, and I think you can see that by the template as well. The fixing template looks absolutely tiny, actually. When you go there, what's it? 110 millimeters between the fixing point holes. So yeah, it's a nice compact unit. Oh, and I noticed this one comes with the uh, the CT because um, the other ones we had to um, we had to order those in separately. Yeah, so it's just a change of how do we manage to. Uh, Obviously, manufacture this unit, uh, obviously, uh, a more efficient cost than the old version. So now we can uh, obviously offer the CT clamp for free yeah. now with the unit. So, what it's saving you another, what, 20, 25 pounds from trade price yeah. on there. So, yeah. you can offer your customer a better deal then. Hopefully, mm -hmm. we're in more projects with, with our unit. Yeah. Well, right, let's grab a screwdriver so we can get this cover off. Yeah, they, I noticed these ones. I've, uh, I've saved the uh, the tool every time I've done one of them. See, there's one there. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, you get the uh, the safety tool uh, with every one as well. So you can just pop it into your screwdriver. And obviously, yeah, keep it like you do. So you've always got a spare just in case you don't want to be uh, dropping it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dropping it out of the box and it goes down a drain hole or manhole cover or in between a crack of a, a driveway patio or anything like that. Yeah, there's a lot more, um, well, I should say a lot less uh, stuff in there on this one. It's a yeah. lot more compact. I see there's Panasonic controls in there as well. Yeah, yeah. So the uh, the RCD on the older version was a, a lot larger. Obviously, it protruded backwards a lot more. So now it's a, a bit more compact in there as well. Yeah. Um, obviously, the three-pin plug as well is a bit more compact, yeah. easier to plug into. And then there's the location for the CT clamp then for the terminal. Oh, I see it's powered by Monta as well. Yeah, so we've changed the application on this. So... Uh, the, the older version, more Charger 2, was uh, powered by EV, uh, dot Energy. Now this is Monta. We've uh, switched over to Monta because uh, it's uh, mainly, mostly used in the whole of Europe as well. So if you've got the Monta app um, already that you might use out and about in the UK, then now you can have your home charger powered by the same application too. Uh, so it's the most used uh, application for EV charging then uh, across Europe. And uh, it's just a change as well uh, on the back plate too. So we... Uh, we have the clip here now um, so on the instruction manuals that we look later where you come either bottom feed or back feed with yeah. your wiring uh, on the instruction manual we've actually left space now in the charger for yeah. you to actually bring your cables round and actually lock in your three pin adapter plug there oh, okay. and slide over right, so you can clamp it in nice and tight then yeah, so that goes as well in there. so that'll go in and you slide it over and it clamps it in nice and tight making it mm -hmm. still easier then to put the front cover on and you've still got the gland in there which is a nice touch because yeah. You know, where sometimes you get the glands and the right size or shape for your cable. Yeah. And a little bung for the back. That's a little bung for the back yeah. as well, if you need to use it. So, yeah, so you've got that. And then, obviously, if you come rear entry, then you've uh, got yourself a free gland to use uh, again on different jobs. So, yeah, uh, yeah. A little bit of free kit there yeah, for you, can't you too. Can't beat a few free glands. No, plenty no. of them in there. Every, every tradesman <laughs> loves a freebie, uh, which we know. So, yeah. So, uh, we've unboxed it. Yeah. Looks good. Gone through some of the changes and what we think. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to fitting this. Let's get cracking.
Right, mate. So I'm assuming the car charger is going somewhere on this yes, wall. Yes, you're right. Uh, uh, so where we're replacing it today and what we've done so far in preparation. Customs asked it to go in the middle of the wall. Um, so we've made some rough measurements of, of where we want the, the charger to go. Yeah. Um, we've done quite a bit here over the last uh, 12 months. We've, um, we've rewired the garage. Uh, we've replaced the consumer unit. We've put a sub main into the cabin in the back garden. We've brought in a, a Doncaster uh, 10 mil SWA EV Ultra cable, so we can use the uh, the CT clamp on the uh, incoming supply. Uh, so yeah, we're literally putting a charger back to back with the fuse board, which is going to be literally every electrician's easiest and favourite install. I mean, I have done all the leg work over the last year, yeah, but yeah. Uh, you know, ultimately it's led up to this point. So yeah, nice clean install so yes, far. Yes, yes. So Straight the, through uh, the cavity wall. Yeah. Rear entry into the charger. Yes, pretty much. So we've got the supply just in here in the front. So we've got a 100 amp supply. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we've got the new consumer unit in here um, with a sub main, which is uh, going there, which is down to the garage. So we're going to safely isolate this shortly. Yeah. Uh, and then this is the sub main, which goes to the log cabin in the back for the, the customer's um, massage sports therapy business. Okay, great. So we, if we have an injury today, then we can just pop into the log cabin behind. So we're all sorted. Wicked. Right. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get cracking. Let's get to it. Right, just going to get started and uh, this is how we're going to go. We've got the board safely isolated. We're going to take out the 20mm knockout at the bottom of the consumer unit, fit this whisker box underneath and drill on a sharp angle down. We're going to mount the charger around here. We've already marked it up with a template. So we're going at 1200 from the floor, rear cable entry and our mark there for the hole into the, for the chargers there. And we're going to do about a 20 degree angle up into the, the bottom of the consumer unit and fit the whisker box. They'll never know. They'll put that in the video. <laughs> <laughs>
Sí. So the charger's all in, completed. Ricky's done a fantastic job. So Ricky, what was it like to install the wall charger to? Yeah, really good. Um, I mean, it's equally as good as the other. There's a lot of extra features to this that I really like, like the uh, the, the, the clamp that goes around the um, the plugs. Um, I like the, the fascia, easy to fit, easy to remove, one screw underneath, you can change the colors of it. Um, we had a few issues with the Monta app, um, but I think that was more of my my error than anything. Um, learned that obviously you need to do it directly with the customer's farm rather than my own. It's much easier, simple process. Um, there's a few features that you then need to enable in the Monta app, which then enable you to do your testing with the uh, charging adapter that I use today. Um, but otherwise, it's you know it's a much more neater, smaller, all out better charger in my opinion. Um, and you know, as installs go, they don't get much easier than going back to back with a fuse board. Um, but yeah, we're all done. Uh, the only thing I did notice is uh, no uh, Wagos in the box. <laughs> yeah, so we used to supply a Wago with a CT clamp. We don't anymore because we supply the CT clamp now with the charger and it goes into a separate terminal connector on there. So that is something we can uh, have a look at and see why we don't put the Wago in there. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, it's nice to actually have the the, the CT included because obviously we have to hold that in usually and yeah. put that cost onto the customer. But now it's obviously all associated with the charger. So Yeah, which is great because then this charger is obviously more cost efficient than the last anyway. And now you're saving, what, £20, £25 pound cost yeah. with the CT clamp included with the charger. Um, so we have tried to think about you guys installing it, what's easier, all the components that's needed for the charger, especially if you want it to be smart capability working on the app. It's been a great day today. Ricky's done a great job installing the new wall charger too. Uh, thanks for watching this channel. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button so we can travel further on social media. And if you haven't done already, check out Ricky on his Instagram page. Let's just turn him around here so you can see the handle, Burn Electrical. Check out his Instagram. And if you're in the sandy area, Bedford area, this is the sparkly for you. So okay. thanks for Ricky for today, Cheers, for mate. joining us on the channel. Great job as always. See you next time. Thanks guys.